Hello, good afternoon. It's a deal for Zal here, market analysts at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets. End of day, Tuesday, 7th of June, 2016. Okay, another strange day on the markets, to say the least. Very, very strange in terms of the vertical move up. That is beyond explanation at present. Okay. Uh, be sure to visit tradesignal.com, signals and market updates from leading providers, and you can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of the uh, European markets, let's have a look here in terms of the stats, folks. Okay, you certainly have the Dow Jones, uh, US markets more or less flatlining at present. Yeah, European markets flatline towards the close, but the uh, yeah, German uh, CAC and uh, Euro stocks certainly higher. Up more than a percentage, whilst whilst the FTSE certainly lagged after becoming a hero earlier on in the back of oil. Now the uh, Asian markets more or less flat, except with the Hang Seng really the out, outstanding index certainly higher. The Shanghai certainly flat as well. Now let's see exactly what transpired today in terms of economic data. Uh, we had uh, industrial production from Germany certainly coming out better than expected. Obviously that uh, neutralizes the previous bad data. Okay, we had imports and exports slightly better than expected from France, although uh, the trade balance certainly was negative. So net net negative from France, hence the reason why I'm short the uh, CAC at present. Uh, industrial output from Spain certainly better. UK house price is stronger, so obviously that helped the housing market. Uh, German uh, European GDP data stronger than expected, so that certainly is helping the euro at present. Non-farm productivity weaker, unit labour costs higher, higher inflation, weaker growth, a very bad cocktail, folks. Red Book uh, Index certainly weaker than expected as well. Economic optimism certainly weaker as well. And uh, currently awaiting the uh, weekly crude oil stock uh, data. Okay, so uh, some negative headlines with regards to oil as well. So that certainly is another factor. Brexit concerns remain as we approach the uh, 23rd of June date. And that should obviously help the dollar. Post Yellen, uh, the equity markets are obviously embracing her uh, and uh, certainly is being perceived as being positive, very strangely. Okay, what is? Okay, and you have to respect that for now. Okay, now in terms of the uh, the actual uh, Euro markets themselves, the Dow has uh, pierced through that 18,000 level. It seems like it wanted to and it was levitating towards it. Now, uh, Fundamentals overall, oil prices still below the $50 level, so therefore would consider to be bearish. Copper certainly flush today, so again bearish. But yeah, equity markets totally unfazed, okay? Totally unfazed. Brent crude certainly hit a new high, so that again certainly will need to be respected. If I go to the daily chart, you can see that we've pierced through that key resistance zone, moving higher on Brent. But we are following this diagonal trend line, so certainly I'll keep an eye out for that. We did have previous support equals resistance here. We certainly have paced it. It'll be interesting to see where we close. If you do break higher, then obviously you are looking at $54 level. But is the market positioned for that from a fundamental perspective? It's certainly not from my understanding. Certainly not. So again, technical and price action certainly is king and, and, and is certainly showing us at present that it wants to go higher. Crude oil it has held resistance, unlike Brent. Okay, still holding that $50 region. Uh, and certainly holding on to resistance firmly. So until we break above that cons um, concertedly, I am in the bearish camp. Okay. Now, in terms of the price of the dollar, let's look at the US dollar index because the dollar index is quite crucial post Yellen. Let's have a look here. From a four hour chart, I'm indicating potential support. 60 minute chart indicates support as well. The base is being built, and the daily chart at present, you have this potential for an inverted head and shoulders as we enter that FIB 50% support. Order lines are support helping. Now, having said that, though, UK US data certainly was exceptionally weak. And uh, today, other than the fact that unit labor costs rose, so that's higher inflation, meaning higher interest rates, but the rest of the data certainly was weak. So nothing that was overtly helping the, uh, the actual dollar, other than the fact that you have Brexit concerns. Now, in terms of European indices, let's see exactly where they close. Euro stocks at present. Daily chart looks like it wants to test the low at 2,950, potential 2,910 on the back of a stronger euro. Now, talking about the euro, let's just quickly bring up the euro USD at this uh, current juncture. The daily chart on the euro USD still holding that resistance around the 1.1370 zone. The four hour chart still meandering, 60 minute chart, certainly exhaustion here. 
uh, and one of the reasons why I'm actually short the Aussie as well. Okay, so going back to the Euro stock, 60 minute chart, holding resistance at this key of 3050 zone and then flushing uh, towards the close. The 10 minute chart, my target remains gap fill below at 3000. Okay, that's my potential target in the Euro stocks. The German DAX, again, same target, on, on, on fill gap below at 10.120, uh, put in a potential lower high. French cap as well, lagging compared to its peers, 60 minute chart, holding resistance, and 10 minute, obviously, we need to close that gap below, lower highs, okay? Looking at that gap around the 4.420 zone to close. In terms of the FTSE 100, let's quickly have a look here. Initially, we had this burst. You have put in a topping tail, so bear that in mind. You are looking at a potential flush on the FTSE 100 now, uh, and certainly has held at 6320 zone, 60 minute chart. You can see we held 6320 where previous support, you well, horizontal resistance. We're testing or holding uh, support at 6280, and you have the bull flag formation. Now, is bull flag going to play out? Not necessarily, given the uh, weak uh, fundamental backdrop, given the fact that you have Brexit concerns. HNS formation at 10 minute on the FTSE itself. And it's projecting a 6230 target in the downside. Okay, I think that's a market wrap. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that uh, bonus offer 25%. Can't go wrong. Goodbye.